Thank you. Um, first of all, how big a result is that for the mentality of your players that this city side is the if it's great, um, I don't think it, it gets much better than winning a trophy in Wembley against the best team in the world and doing it the way we've done it. So um, really encouraging. I think we had some great moments in the game, especially in the first half with three massive chances. But unfortunately, when you don't put them away, um, you know what can happen. And, and we had a little error in midfield and don't clear the ball. And the next second, the ball is in the back of the net. And then it's a very difficult game to play. Um, but I think we made the right choices. Uh, the changes helped, the formation change helped, and, and we kept some, we believe, and we kept some momentum there and um, allowed to, to win the game, the, the goal, and, and then the penalties. And Mike from Mirror? Hey, Phil, um, Aaron Ramsdale said on TV in this flash interview that he feels that the mental block has been lifted. Arsenal have proved they can beat Man City when it matters. Would you agree with that? Well, I don't have to agree or disagree. Aaron feels it that way. He's great. At the end, is what the players feel when they are there and they are convinced that they can beat any team. We knew the challenge, especially because of the maturity and, and, and how often they play finals. But I think we showed today a real resilience and determination to, to fight and, and decide to win the game. Oh. And so in terms of that belief, how big is it to just have something tangible? It's great. That's the, the, the reason why we're here at the end is to, to win trophies for this football club and, and make it successful. And um, just the joy of seeing so many happy people and proud people and, and the connection again, doing it in front of our supporters as well in Wembley feels very different and, and it, was, it was great. Kyle? Yes, I think so. I think it was superb. You know, it's, yeah, the way he pressed, I think how intelligent he is to, to understand certain spaces, the timing of it. He was in, in great positions to score. We were very unlucky not to score. He was very physical when he needed to be as well. So, very pleased with him. Sam? He was great. And uh, we practice penalties a lot on purpose in preseason um, to be ready for this just in case, you know, when. And we went through disappointments against Manchester United, for example, and we didn't stop any of that. And that was the learning course that some days needed um, to get the right results at the end. And I think he was superb. Right. Because Van Dijk had a great evening. Um, clearly, Arsenal have been exceptional all season. Is there anything that you can point to in terms of I don't know. I just wanted to grab that trophy as quick as possible and then we can think about the next. But we know it's football. You say you win a trophy today, tomorrow you have to be training, you have to prepare the Forest game in, in the right way. It will be a very different game to this, but a very difficult one as well. And we know that we have to go day by day. This is great. It lifts us, the spirit, the belief and everything, but um, that's it. We just want to play better and, and, and win games. That's what we have to do. I just said, listen, I cannot change my behaviors in three days. You know, it's a very difficult thing to do. And next time, yeah, we, we cannot ask him to say, okay, tomorrow we play with no offsides. And the last man says, what is he doing? You know, we, I, we try your best. I try my best. I understand the rules. I understand where they're coming from. Uh, but uh, yeah, we can get frustrated there because someday we don't know in what part of the technical area we are. But uh, it's fine. We will adapt. Gary? No, because at the end it's about effective time. I think it's, it's really good to do that uh, because it was going too far, I think. And, uh, and now teams are going to think twice and we're going to have to be prepared now to play 100 minutes because it's going to happen every single week. OK, finally back down here. Uh, Mikael, you mentioned Ramsdale before. Has he been feeling under pressure, do you think, to impress you again to ensure that he remains number one regardless of any potential? I hope no, because the competition here is always exists, whoever it is, and that's what it has to feel like. And if we don't feel like this, we're not going to get the best out of each player. So we better feel like this and, and make sure that we all feel like this. Me first. Okay, everyone. Thanks very much. Yeah, thank you.